Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I am here to do the general monthly reading for the sign of Libra for March 2019. Before I get started, I would like to put out this, my intuitive candle that I'm, you can see behind me here that I'm burning this evening is sparkling cranberry. For those of you who are new, this is from intuitivecandles.com. You light and you reveal your hidden gift. Um, these are maritime handcrafted. They're 100% soy base, double wicked, 40 hour clean burn on them. And it's not just about the reveal. It's also about the candle itself. They have, they're, they're very rich. They're very, they don't hurt you. Some are too strong. You know, you get other candles or scented. Um, these are perfect. Um, my reveal last night off of this candle that's still burning here is this the beautiful, you can't really see it that well, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red jasper. I absolutely love it. Feels fantastic. Doesn't matter. You never know what you're getting, but you're never disappointed because everything that comes out of those, uh, candles is absolutely beautiful. They're running a promo code right now. You could save 10% off any order that you make. Um, use the promo code BOFF10. It stands for Bay of Fundy Fortunes and the number 10. So you use that promo code, you get $10 off, uh, 10% off your order. Um, and they ship international as well, all around the world. Um, my cat, sorry. Hello. What? Now what do you want? He's been hitting me up on every reading. I don't know if he thinks I'm talking to him and he's answering me or if he wants something. Because he loves to talk. <laughs> Anyways, BOFF10 for your 10% off. They've got a wide variety of scents. They're just fantastic. Let's get right into your shuffle here, Libra. I'm Libra rising. I don't like cancer. I'm pretend I didn't even do it. That I don't know anything about it. I didn't like cancer at all. Very disappointed I was. I was, I was. So this is for Libra Rising. Stewie, go to bed. It is bedtime. It's going on 10 o'clock at night. Go to bed. Go lay down. You've got food in your bowl. You've got fresh water. What else do you want? No. Shh. What do we got in store for Libra here? For anyone um, that's new, this is a five card spread. First card is your overall energy for the month of March. Second card is your wealth and finances. The third card is your hearth, your home and intimate love, family. Your fourth card is your challenges for March, should there be any. And your fifth card is your message from spirit. This is for Libra. Libra Sun, Libra Rising, and Libra Moon. These are general readings which may or may not resonate with you. You want something to resonate just for you, you have to get a personal reading. Quick one more run through and then I think I'm going to be ready to cut the deck. Beautiful. And consult with my pendulum Lilith, my red carnelian. <sighs> Lilith, as this deck stands, are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for the general public reading for the sign of Libra for the month of March, the year 2019. Are the top five cards, cards that are meant for the Libra reading. Yes, all right, thank you. Danka. 
your first card. Keep your overall energy for March, Libra. Oh, for crying out loud. Maybe I'm the bad luck here. Maybe I'm the one that's bad luck. We got the tower to open it up for the month. Destruction. I can't win for trying here. Seriously. Your wealth and finances. Achievement. Well, that's a relief. Eight of Pentacles. That's change in the financial realm. We've got the Four of Wands and reward. As far as uh, your family and your home and sector, uh, that's looking pretty good. That's good. Card number four, your challenges, should there be any? Yeah, there is. This is the Eight of Swords. It's all about restriction. Last card, card number five, your message from Spirit. Queen of Pentacles, kindness. All right, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Well, now. This card, the tower, isn't always as doom and gloom as our first reaction to it is. Oh, no. Right? Let's see what we got. It's a ship caught in a perfect storm. Just when you thought it was safe to go into the water. <laughs> it is not. This brings about sudden change. You probably weren't expecting it. Um, it's going to be the kind of change you have no control over. You have no say over it. No control over it even though you're being affected by it. You have to suck it back. You have to swallow it. You have to accept change as it comes to you with, it, with a card like this. It's usually unexpected. It's usually sudden. Um, and... You don't have any say over the matter. This is something what Tarot's telling you. Whatever changes come, accept them as they come to you. Again, not again, this was in an earlier reading, but I'm repeating myself here with the message that this has all happened for a reason, which is unbeknownst to anybody in the moment, but will come out later. Um... Watch your finances for the next month or so. That's important. Just be, don't don't deny yourself. Don't go without. Don't go hungry for heaven's sakes. Or don't skip a bill if you can help it. Just be frugal. Because there may be an unexpected expense come up. Or maybe you'll see something you want. Let's put it that way. Something you want really bad. And, and uh, you got to watch your money. You have to take care of your responsibilities first. Give up control if things get to be too much for some of you. Put it all in the hands of the universe, your creator, however you regard the higher power. Um, and, and trust in the universe to guide you, to lead you, nudge you into the right, the right path, which way you should go. You have to be open to this. You have to just give up complete control and say, I trust you implicitly. Hope and pray for the best. It's a lot of change with this card. So changes coming up through the month for you, through the month of March. Libra. The Eight of Pentacles achievement, making a change, a financial change, a financial shift somehow in your life. It's going to work in your favor. I'm glad of hearing this. 
Um, there could be the results may not be obvious right away. All right. You're waiting for the reward. Reaching achievement. You don't feel like you've achieved anything until you get the, the results. The hardcore facts come back to you. Then you'll know that you did the right thing. You did it at the right time. Um, this is also the card. Sometimes represents people that are perfectionists. Here's the thing. There's a bit of a risk here that your perfectionism, which actually for most of you means paying attention to small details. You're looking for the small stuff because you, you need to know that it's all worked out. It's all taken care of. That it's not been skipped over. Um, the details you feel the devil's in the details, as they say. But here's the thing. You get so you get tunnel vision. When you get that obsession that comes over you and something has to be perfect, you get tunnel vision. You don't see everything else that's going on around you. You're at risk of missing an opportunity. That's a heads up for you, Libra. Keep your ears open, your eyes wide. And be aware there's an opportunity you could miss and maybe that'll be enough right there for you to catch it. I hope so. Some of you may be, um, we'll say upgrading your skills, updating them. So that's an educational course there. Somehow you have to, maybe somebody has to write a certification to get their, their papers, this sort of a thing. But there's a little more study here for some of you. You're not quite there yet, but you're getting there. You're almost to the finish line. Don't give up now. Do not give up now. This is a card of excess. Um, success. If you have to write a test or an exam of any kind, chances are you're going to pass it. You'll even get more than what you needed to pass. Your number will be good. Um... You're going to learn a very valuable lesson here regarding the whole getting educated, upgrading your skills. And that being, and it's good it fell into your financial sector because it means achievement once again, but it doesn't come for nothing. It doesn't come at no cost and no price. So you have to sacrifice your time to do this. But one lesson you will learn, you'll learn it very quickly. And that is the more you learn, the more you will earn. Did you ever notice that the, the lowest paying jobs are the hardest physically? You know, um, and the higher educated you are, the less physical work you have to do. <laughs> Just the way it goes. It's the way the world turns. Um, so yes, uh, watch your money. Like I said, be, be you know, frugal. Ask yourself before you spend any money, is this a want or is this a need? But you're, you're, you're going to be, this is a card of growth in your money sector. This is a card of achievement of you worked for this and now you're, you know, you've paid your dues. Now it's time to start collecting. Okay. Your next card we're looking at is your hearth, your home. This is a beautiful card. It's a four of wands. This is all about forthcoming rewards in many different ways, in many different shapes and forms. Um, this is a fire sign. There's passion involved here. It's a four. So four is all about slowly putting the brakes on and coming to a standstill, not a standoff, a standstill, a restful period of catching your breath, breath taking a break, 
recharging your, your batteries, your energy, this sort of thing. You have to stop in order to do that. So that's what fours are all about. Calm. They're about peace. They're about rest, quiet, tranquility, this sort of a thing. And some of you are needing that, Libra. You're really, really needing that, that breath of fresh air to revive you kind of a thing. Um, this is a card of finishing projects and passing a test again for some of you. Um, and it's a time for taking a holiday, socializing. This is a time to discover love. This is a time for trips away. This is a happy four. It brings leisure. It brings you fun. It brings freedom. That's indicative of some kind of a break or vacation. Because that's what they're all about, right? It's all about, excuse me. It's all about leisure, fun, and freedom. That's enough. I'll be done in a minute. Your keywords here are balance. Contentment. Excuse me, love, freedom, openness, travel, could be a new job, a new home. So you may be moving house for some of you, but it's a good move. Very good move. One that you'll be looking forward to, not dreading. You don't feel like you're giving up anything from where you're leaving. You feel like you're gaining by making this move. The advice of the card is to be carefree while you can and replenish your mind or replenish your, your soul and physically as well. You deserve it. You've been working really, really hard. That's a really nice card. It just shows harmony and balance at home, peace, no stress. You couldn't ask for more, except till we get to your challenges, restriction, the Eight of Swords. Oh boy. There could be changes coming from someone related to your job. Even a personal close relationship could take a change or a twist. <clears throat> this, you know, uh, could afford to some for personal projects as well. Um, this card sometimes shows um, relationships on lockdown. Yes, that could mean marital relationships romantic relationships. This could be a relationship with someone you work with or your boss. Lockdown. Coming to a head. Maybe you don't want to work this shift. You want another shift. And the boss isn't coming across. So that you're on, you're on lockdown. You're kind of almost, almost like a, a communicable strike. I'm not talking to you until I get what I want. I'm doing my job that I've got here. But I want a different shift, you know, this sort of thing. So your nose is out of joint. They're unsure about upsetting the status quo to give you what you want. <clears throat> and it's like if he changes for you, he's going to have to change everybody else too. Or they're all going to think that you're getting special treatment. There's got to be a way to make your boss work with you. Um, do you have a good reason? Do you have children at home? Do you have health concerns? This sort of a thing. The other thing with this card is sometimes the relationship part of it going on lockdown, coming to a... Sometimes, and this came out earlier in another reading, and, and you could be the third person in a relationship if you know what I mean. The person that you're wanting to join with, be with, can't make a commitment to you because he's already committed or she's already committed to somebody else. I got nothing to say more about that. 
there's just too much responsibility on you can't just drop your life to be together it doesn't it doesn't work that way some people make a commitment and they never break it they stick with it they stay with it um and that's what's going on here there's not enough hours in the day for this other person to be having you know meetings we'll call it with you there's not enough time in the day I don't think they want to invite that kind of pressure into their life either. They may really, really, really like you and they may really, really, really want to, but doesn't make it okay as far as that person's family goes. Um, because the want to is there and that kind of tarnishes everything, right? The advice for you is to get practical, get real, get control over your own life don't be trying to walk in someone else's shoe or take somebody else's life on i don't mean debt i mean take their life on um take control of your future if you take control of your life you take control of your future and you know why you may get some opinionated people the finger going and wagging it in your face saying uh-uh, that's no good for you. You can't do that. Who do you think you are? Just don't tolerate it. Kind of smile, giggle, laugh, throw your head back, turn your back and walk away. You leave them. They can't believe. They won't be so quick to come at you another time, put it that way, because they end up looking and feeling very, very put on the spot, very, very embarrassed. And that's all you did was smile and walked away. It's all in how you look at things, right? Um, so yeah, don't don't look don't let other people push you around. And free yourself overall. Give yourself more freedom by being less tolerant of people. You only have to do these things once to certain people. They will never bother you again. It's just that simple. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Your keywords are separation and fear, burdens, a lack of vision, being stuck, responsibility, change. It's a tough card to swallow. Tough pill to swallow. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've been sneezing for the last two days. I do not know why. Gosh, it wouldn't be pollen, would it? Couldn't be with all the snow. we got a badass storm coming for tomorrow. A lot of snow. I wish it would go away. The last card in your reading, Libra, is the Queen of Pentacles, and she's all about kindness. This is a very a loving woman, a very loyal woman, a woman that devotes herself to the people in her life. She's a lover of family, of friends. She loves her life. She's a lover of nature animals she's also a very wise lady now for the females this could be you because in tarot when these court cards come up like this you've got the kings and queens usually represents you so we'll say you very very wise person is somebody that you may find yourself being drawn to you're wanting someone like this in your life it's she's the person we all want to call call our our best friend or our favorite aunt or something like this um, or the neighbor that everybody goes to for tea and coffee when they've got things they're mulling over. She's very gifted in the arts, we'll call it, and she knows who's coming before they show up at her door. She knows just what's going on with everybody even though she hasn't seen or heard she knows she has the gift she knows just the right thing to say to people everybody that leaves her walks a little bit lighter when they move away from her and this could very well be you that's there for everybody else in all those ways so um
showing kindness to yourself is first and foremost because without kindness to yourself and taking care of your own needs even some wants you're not much good to anybody else if you're self-centered if you don't if you're not expressive if you're not outgoing but you can be outgoing in a quiet way in a subtle way um you're deeply appreciated by those people that are in your life you're very very strongly loved um it's also a card of fertility for some and that can mean not just childbirth pregnancy but it can also mean growth huge growth in your life money comes to the forefront comfort as well be hands-on with this card if you identify with this character that's what people like about you you could be anybody but there you are it's not even your work it's not your dirt here you are rolling your sleeves up and helping somebody to take the load off it shows you taking the load off like i said people come for me they feel lighter they feel like even though nothing's changed but yet they feel like something's been accomplished and people walk away and they feel more confident because she instills that belief she believes in people she believes in the goodness of the human spirit she um her beliefs are very contagious because she seems so content and so at peace so this is not you this is somebody that you are going to know if you don't already know they're playing a pivotal part in your life and put up gratitude to the universe for bringing this person into your life for bringing you these blessings as it is Anyway, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some insight. A little bit of stuff there for everybody, really. Um, so uh, if you want a personal reading, look down below this video window where it says show more. Read through once, grab my email, send it off, and we will take it from there. And um, anybody else, if you want to join us on Facebook, we're also there under groups. And it's Bay of Fun Day fortunes and um it's a closed group it's a private group it's a tranquil group it's educational it's beautiful anyways for anybody else if you normally looking for me you'd normally find me right here in bay of fundy fortunes if not i can usually be found down at the cove down on the beach walking along the water's edge that holds the highest mightiest tides on the whole planet The beautiful, the bountiful, the Bay of Funday, right in my backyard. Um, I'm going to try to get back mid-month and do mid-monthlies for March. So we can just see how things are rolling along compared to the first of the month. Some things are subject to change. You just never know. Um, and what didn't get put in there can maybe kind of overlap into whatever was left out and come out in the second half. So I'm going to try. There's no promises. I don't promise anything to anybody. I do my best, though. I love doing the mid-monthlies. That's my favorite, over the monthlies, um, because it narrows down the time frame as well. So I got a whole month. Now you've only got two weeks, you know, kind of thing. So you kind of got to get it all in there. So anyways, um, I wish you all the best of the best for the month of March. And uh, that reading was a little better for me than my cancer reading. I was just horrible did not like it at all but anyways it is what it is please keep the peace in so you can share the love and the light out with those in your world do one small thing today to pay it forward it's the butterfly effect and it'll go on and on into infinity hopefully good luck with march and i hope to see you all back here in a couple of weeks goodbye for now though